All right, so we're the water waste uh, group. Okay, so we do have a generic name right now, Bob, because like we don't remember the name. That's fine. But like, anyways, like his his whole idea was that like he looked he just like recently moved into the Riverstone area, and like he originally had like those hookup sprinklers, and now he's just in the market looking for like an automated sprinkler system. And so in terms of his like ra rational, emotional, like social aspects. Um, like I said, he lives in like the Riverstone area. He cares about like the aesthetics of his lawn. Like in the previous picture you saw, he had like the little plant, uh, little bucket thing, and that's because like in his neighborhood they actually award like whoever has like the best looking lawn, like those little <laughs> stick things on the ground where you just like it says like best lawn or that's something like lawn, that. Yeah. And then uh, yeah, now he basically just needs a sprinkler system because like it's hard to like maintain something they have to like manually turn on and off. And like it's a lot more efficient having a sprinkler system versus like just one of those hookups. Like, Hook up, like those things that hook up the hoses. So in terms of his priorities, like the main things kind of boil down to like an automated way to water his lawn. So we gave that 65 points out of like 100 because that's, if you're looking for a way to like a sprinkler system, that's kind of the main priority. And then the second one is like cost efficient way to get this done. And that would be awarded 35 points. And from there, it's more of like 50-50 on like, you need to first implement like a cheap uh, solution in terms of like the automated sprinklers. Then you also need a way to like reduce the cost down over a long term. So we kind of split like that part of it, like savings from reduced water waste, which would be like I guess part of what we were trying to accomplish here with like the rain sensors and like the in ground soil like soil measures or the moisture level like measures. So that would be given like seventeen point five points out of that. And uh, when we talked to him, like we were asking as we were discussing the problem, we also asked like who he thought would be have kind of similar problems. And he said, uh, like, when he goes to HOA meetings, he, like, this is a big topic that comes up because uh, his, like, the community itself, they're very regulated on uh, sprinklers and stuff. So this is actually a topic they've had as well. And um, just, just from our interviews and stuff, we kind of picked up that people have similar problems. Just uh, you know, people mainly that shop in that section of like Home Depot or Lowe's. So um, you know, that seems to be another like water hole, I guess, essentially for us as well. Yeah. In terms of like the Riverstone area, like that area is kind of like more of like a wealthier area in Houston, so I guess that's why we're targeting. Where's Riverstone? Is that the Okay, yeah, that's where I thought it was. Okay. 